I have to go back to school tomorrow, but I wanted to upload a video real quick because I'm very annoyed at YouTube right now, and I find their new guidelines to be straight up unacceptable. This is not affecting me personally, but it is affecting a lot of the YouTubers I love and support. So this is going to be more of a quick little rant that I'm going to try to get out as quick as possible, because I want to share my thoughts on these new guidelines and why I'm pissed. So lately, advertising has been removed from many videos across the platform because they're apparently not advertiser friendly. According to their advertiser friendly guidelines, you can't have drugs, profanity, vulgar language, controversial or sensitive topics in any of your YouTube videos or they will be stripped of monetization. In other words, if your video offends YouTube in any way possible, if you use any mean words or cover a topic that's more serious, you're not going to make any money from that video. Basically what YouTube is doing is taking away monetization from videos that aren't kid friendly. As if this platform was designed for children. Almost like you have to be under 13 to use YouTube because otherwise it'll make the advertisers look bad for promoting this or this. Oh no, he said a bad word. Now no one is gonna buy my OxyClean or come in my garage. It honestly kind of breaks my heart that YouTube would just do this unannounced. YouTubers all over are aware of this and are rightfully pretty annoyed at YouTube right now for what they're doing. All of these people are going to be forced to water down their content just so they can survive. Everyone who is making a reasonable income off of YouTube is going to be censored because of something they said, a parody they did, a word they used in their video. Haydox was one of the first victims I saw report on Twitter, and part of what sparked this completely out of blue rant. Haydox, if you don't know, is a YouTuber who does reviews on video games and occasionally a parody. YouTube shut down the monetization of multiple videos of his, which were almost completely innocent. Game Hypothesis is a five minute parody of Game Theory, a video I found very funny, but he can't make content like this anymore because it would apparently violate these advertiser friendly guidelines. Now, personally, I don't monetize any of my videos, and I probably won't do so for quite a few years. But this is very scary for me, because I wanted to one day monetize my videos, perhaps make a living out of YouTube, but it looks like I could get butt fucked by YouTube for saying the word butt fuck. Really, it's just upsetting that YouTube is going down this path. This all apparently started yesterday, and as I'm writing this, Twitter is freaking out because this literally just happened yesterday, and people are so confused as to what YouTube is doing right now. Hopefully by the time I upload my next video a couple weeks from now, YouTube will fix this or at least make their terms more reasonable. But seeing how probably every sentence you hear in this video means another video gets demonetized for saying the F word, it's very unlikely and pretty terrifying what this could do for the future of YouTube. I'd hate to see my favorite favorite YouTubers turn into pandering towards younger audiences just to make a reasonable income. This is the one time I actually agree with Keemstar. But I know this much, YouTube's now saying nobody is advertiser friendly. YouTube's trying to get those crazy ad deals by having PG content that's advertiser friendly. The whole internet is going to be filled with nothing but Minecraft Let's Plays. YouTube is essentially turning into Twitch, where even the smallest gesture at something inappropriate and not PG will get you in trouble. It's the end of the world as we know it. Now, I know Scare sounds like Kermit the Frog, but if he's gonna be reduced to puppets reporting the fucking news, I might just move to Vimeo. Heck, maybe we'll all move to Vimeo. I don't know. YouTube, what are you doing? <laughs> YouTube is gonna go down in shambles. People are going to lose their jobs, and it's gonna be thanks to whoever's idea it was to kill off any videos that aren't advertiser friendly. You want something that's advertiser friendly? Guess Minecraft Let's Plays, Cadbury Egg Openings, Spider-Man vs. Venom Fun Kids video are what we're unfortunately gonna have to be watered down to. That's depressing. Oh, and by the way, Misha uploaded a new video today. Song for all the haters. He used the words ho and GTFO and put up the middle finger. You can be sure as hell that's not getting monetized. But he's kind of got it coming when the title says for kids, all right? If YouTube doesn't fix this issue, there will be no more YouTube. And I want y'all to know I'm still gonna be making videos here and I'm gonna be doing my damn best at them. But unless YouTube fixes this, its platform is going to crumble. People are gonna be latching onto Patreon and third party services to survive. Some might even quit YouTube entirely. This is scary. This could be the start of something super serious that completely changes YouTube for the worse. This is sad. It's depressing. It's downright unacceptable in my opinion. I'm very small and there's little I can do, but hopefully YouTube realizes what they're doing right now and fixes it. Hopefully they hear the hundreds of outcries telling them, wait, you can't do this. While YouTube does have every right to do this, it is censorship. <sighs>
I'm sorry this video maybe isn't very well edited. I'm sorry if it seems rushed, but I'm just really angry and what you're listening to right now is just me furiously trying to get all these angry, confused thoughts out as quick as possible. Reading into every tweet, any updates, triple checking every source that this isn't some sick joke. No outro. No outro. These are just my thoughts. I'm gonna keep uploading. I'm just disappointed honestly, and I fear for all of my favorite content creators. New video coming out with a bit of a lighter topic, I'll be a little less angry, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening, and I'm sorry if I offended YouTube because I used the word buttfuck.